Good afternoon. I will say morning, but good afternoon. YouTube family, what's going on? Hey, man, it's not going to be a long live video. I just wanted to show you how, basically how good God has been good to me, okay? After being in MCs, you know, I've been in, you know, shame to say, I guess I ain't ashamed to say it, but each one was growth. I've been in three different MCs. And in three different MCs, I never could find what I was really looking for. So with being who I am and having the experience that I have, I decided to build my own family. I'm finna show y'all something, okay? And I won't call us an MC. We'll never be an MC. We'll always be a family. The FHO, Fast Harleys Only Motorcycle Association, will be just that, a motorcycle association of independent riders who want to ride, who want a brotherhood, who want a sisterhood, who want a fellowship. But without all of the, pol the political bullshit, without all of the political extra shit with... You know, that we grown men, we grown women, that's what we preach and teach, and we're gonna stand on that at all times, okay? I wanna just show y'all this real quick. I'm gonna show you this picture, okay? We down here in Monroe, Louisiana. When we left yesterday, it was 36 degrees, 34 degrees. Everybody, you know, I've, I've been preaching and teaching, having your heated gear, having your heated suits, and being prepared to ride in any and all kind of weather. God bless us with no rain, but it was cold as hell, and we did our thing, man. But more importantly, one thing I love about FHO is that you know you have to ride, you know you can't get around it, your your yearly membership com it can, uh, is, is committed on you riding. You have to commit to the miles, 8,000 miles a year. If you, do, if you don't do that, I don't care how much money you donated, how much money you, you know, put into the family, you will not be able to be FHO. That just is what it is. You have to ride your motorcycle. That's what it's all about. The brand has the brand is about riding motorcycles, fellowship and brotherhood and the whole nine yards. But I just want to show y'all this, man. So we here in Monroe, Louisiana. We put the call out. Uh, actually, the call came out actually while I was in California. So they had about a two week notice, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to show y'all this. Look at my family. Look at my family, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go behind and show y'all some of these because I want y'all to see this. I want y'all to see these license plates. I ain't trying to show nobody tag numbers. I know y'all motherfuckers. Don't need to be saying tag numbers, but I want to show y'all where where everybody done come from. Okay. That's Georgia right there. That's Georgia. I think you got another. Oh no, what is this? This is Virginia right here. Alright. These two are Georgia. That's Georgia. That's Georgia. That's Georgia. It's another Georgia right here. Okay. Watch this. Louisiana. 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 Of course, Mr. FHO, Georgia. And another Georgia. Now, I'm showing you that because even the Georgias that you see, we're talking about damn near not Georgia. We're talking about Albany. Don is in Albany. Um, Grip is in, Grip is actually right at the Florida line. Um, Julius, who else is uh, kind of close? But Buck We Nim, Buck We Nim is from, um, um, y'all know, y'all have seen Buck We, but he in Louisiana. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not showing you this video or, or to be bragging, but I do want to brag. I do want to thank God. I really do. I want to, I just want to thank God for, um, Giving me the vision, you know, because I'm not going to tell you no lie. After I was put out the MC, my last MC after I was put out, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know, you know, where this motorcycle thing was going to go. You know, how was I going? Was anybody going to fuck with me? You know, because it just seemed strange. Once you've been in the MC, you get dependent on that, you know. And once you don't have it anymore, it can be it can be kind of traumatic, man. And for me, it was traumatic. It was, it was crazy. But I just thank God I bounced back. Now... I got a family of riders. You feel what I'm saying? We got a family of riders. No, I wasn't put out the AMC. I was put out of my last motorcycle club. We definitely are AMA. You see that right there? We are an AMA charter club. Every member has to wear that on their vest. So every member has to be registered with the AMA through our, um, through our number that we have, our chapter number and all of that. So you have to register with the AMA. And with that, we take classes um, different classes on the, all of the legal terminology and on, 
you know, everything else, man. And the AMA is familiar with us and we're familiar with the AMA. But I said I'd like to say this. Is that... Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the vision. Thank you, Lord, for allowing people to trust in me. And it ain't always easy. We fuss and we fight, you know, because they want things done this way and I want things done this way. But we have an executive board and we have members and, you know, we got shareholders. It, this thing is big, man. If you don't know anything about the FHO movement, it is huge. It is a, it is a, it is a, it's a family, but it's a family run business. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and, and we just, we just going to continue the motorcycle, but, um, I don't know. I just want to share that with y'all, man. And, um, and we still got a, you know, a bunch of, a lot of members that didn't make it, but just to put a call out and get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, me plus 10 on the ground. You know what I'm saying? I, I cannot be mad at all. We're going to look good going down the ground today. And, and we, like I said, we got open enrollment. You know, we got membership enrollment. It don't take much, but you're going to have to ride your motorcycle. Minimum 8,000 miles a year. What's up, Violator? I see you on there. In February, that part. <laughs> What's up, D? Another FHO member, my girl, D. I love you. She'll be in Florida because we got Florida next weekend. We got Jacksonville, Florida next weekend. We got us another house next weekend. We got another Airbnb, another house. And that's one thing, okay? People ask me, well, say, what's the difference between you? Well, one thing about it, what's the biggest difference is that with FHO, we don't do the individual thing. Like if we go, if we're going somewhere and we put four people to a room, period. Husband, wife, it don't matter. It's four people to a room. And we get the rooms with the joining doors when we can so that everybody can just, you know, just parlay together, man. We eat together. We function together. We family together, you know. And it's just some cool shit. We respect each other. I mean, because when you need your space, you need your space, hands down. But let me show you all this family up here. Let me show you all these people up in this house. That's beautiful, man. I think anybody else? I think anybody that uh What's happening, babies? What's happening? What'd he do? Hey man, I got ten tokens. Down here. Get your other zero. What up, Buckwick? You man. Where the fuck was you going, player? Say, man, my thing kept saying, yeah, yeah. Oh, get that. Get that thing. How your bike telling you left and the address on the right? Your bike, you know your bike is handicapped, right? That's what I'm saying. I need to bring it back. Nah, them motherfucking glasses you got on, that's what you need to put on your motherfucking motorcycle. Them goddamn goggles you got on. Long wheel, something. I need to bring it back to home, man. Y'all bike messed up. Anybody that need a token from the thing, I bought 10 tokens so y'all can grab them. Oh, uh, Grip, I got you another um, replacement too for looking out for me. Y'all grab it. Anybody that want one? Where Grip go? You still in the bed? You still in the bed? Hey, struggle! What you looking for, Buck? Anyway, man, this is how we're getting down, man. Hey, man, Here, Daddy, yo. I bought you. They have, I bought two of them. One for you, an extra one for me. Alright. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Anyway, man, this is how we're getting down, man. And y'all just, well, how was y'all ride today? Oh, cool. cool. We were wet at the beginning, but we good. Oh, y'all got some rain? Mm-hmm. Yeah, until we got on 55, mm -hmm. we cleared up. We cleared up on 55? Mm-hmm. Put your hands there. Mama Don. Anyway. Who passed the brand new? <laughs> Who passed? Anybody with FHO patch got at least 8,000. At least 8. At least 8,000. Yeah, okay. At least eight. Your shit look about. brand new with about 30 miles on it, goddamn. That's what I'm talking about. Hey. Yeah. No, I got 500. <laughs> <laughs> I know I got 500. Look at your grass. What hey. you got, dog? Don't, don't run my ball out now. You don't run it? You doing? You got 500. I'm trying to steal him. I'm trying to steal him. on the way back. I'm trying to steal him. club already. They know we don't steal him. They got no miles? No, my guy was They got a new one out there, they got miles on. Yeah. He got he got ten thousand on a two thousand seven. Who? 
Yeah, it's it's me. Shelf lock. <laughs> that motherfucker's garage. Shelf lock. He got shelf lock. That's what we sit up there on the bed and do. That motherfucker's classic. That motherfucker's classic. In due time. Fucking in due time. You might as well come on in, man. You know what I'm saying? You're you a good fit, though. You crazy motherfucker. Glasses is thick enough. Yeah, I see where I'm going. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm pretty sure we all look like goldfish around this motherfucker too. You do it. Don't worry about our contacts too. <laughs> that's the eye doctor right there. Too. Yeah, that's, that's the eye doctor. I got contacts. You got contacts too. Yeah, that's I damn sure. That's the eye man right there. Yeah. Don't get that lace. Don't get that lace. Uh, 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 yeah. Don't get that lace. 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 Don't get
They cut my radio off because I be cursing too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, uh, they said the dispatcher said you heard too much, so she cut your radio. I said y'all ain't got no business listening to the motherfucker. Shit, yeah. this big brother, they listen to every goddamn thing. I told him I'm gonna stick my ass up to that camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said let's see if y'all hear that shit. They disconnected. My boy showed me how to disconnect. <laughs> they said you heard too much. This is crazy, man. Y'all be recording what I say. Hey man, it's us, man. Man, that's how we do it around here. That's it, man. J1, I heard you had another accident. Who? Can I get your social security number? Where you accident prone? I'm serious. Yeah, no accident. You had another accident? Another accident? You, you said an incident. Oh, an incident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, thought yeah. he fucked himself up. Uh -oh, you know that boy fucked on a pump bike. Oh, 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 that nigga rode all the way to California. We rented some bicycles. The nigga dust off fucking whole Keely and angle up and everything. Yeah, yeah. I was saying, we gotta rode a motorcycle all the way to California. That's that bullshit. That's that bullshit. Get all those people out for a minute and put your cell phones on silent. We're gonna prepare? No, I just wanted to make sure that we had this moment now so we can know. Let's go ahead and shut our phones on silent so nobody forgets when we get to the church. Um, Y'all want to hear what Scrap wants us to do is to line up behind the family. He want when they line up to go in, and then he also wants us to follow the family car. To the uh, cemetery. Okay. All right. The other thing I want to say is, you guys, mm -hmm. whenever it's a funeral procession, or whenever it's a funeral for the family, what we do is we represent, we make sure our line is tight. So, road captains and all that, make sure the line is tight. We cut all your music down. You know, we already know to keep the music down. And if he wants us to ride behind the family, that's what we'll do. But more importantly, we all stay together. Yeah. Um, whoever, you can handle scrap if you need to handle scrap. If his family not handling it, I'm just saying. Um, but that, that's how we do it. Did the reader get delivered? Yes. Okay, so we good to go. Other than that, man, we all look good, and so we're going to represent our boy, man, and let his mom know that he got some backing behind him, and we gone. Come back to the house and rock out. Um, right. we got, yeah, we got five minutes before we need to start going out there.